hello and welcome to my channel um yesterday i went apple picking uh, apparently i have a different mentality than everybody when it comes to harvesting food and processing food and storing food and by everybody i mean city folk um my boyfriend's parents have three apple trees one is every second year so it didn't produce this year and then they have their main one which is nice, big, juicy, sweet apples. And then their second one, which I guess third. The other one that produces every year is more tart. And I mean, I'm the only one who takes any of those apples. But I thought I was going to miss out because it's late. And so we went over there and we went to pick apples. And apparently we were the first ones because the tree was full. Um, I picked what I could reach from the deck except the one branch I was asked to leave. I picked what I could reach from one setup of the ladder, and then I went up on the roof, and I picked there what I could reach from the roof, which those are the best apples, the ones that are up high. Um, I'm picking apples. I'm in the zone. I'm getting things done, and I'm only hearing snippets of conversation happening on the deck. <laughs> And I hear, oh, I think she's picking for you now. My boyfriend's speaking to his parents. And then a few minutes later, I hear, oh, well, she's a wannabe farmer. So if you don't stop her, she's going to pick the whole tree. <laughs> Apparently, most people only pick what they want to take home and do that day. Um... I had made a comment shortly after we got there that I'd take some today and then I'd come back next weekend and get some more because I can only process so much at a time. And his dad made a comment about how, well, there won't be any apples next week. They'll all fall off the tree because of the wind. So I guess my farmer brain <laughs> decided that I needed to pick the whole tree because it needed to be harvested now. There wasn't going to be usable apples because they're all going to fall. I was told to quit. <laughs> yeah, apparently I picked too many apples. Um, his parents kept one bag of apples that I picked. And I picked like six or eight. <laughs> but let me show you what I got. Right now they're in the garage, but I have two big bins of apples and two bags. This one's not as full, but his mom took about this many apples off of her tree and the rest are all mine. And I picked half of what I could reach from the roof. So I would say between an eighth and a quarter of the available apples on that tree. I was going to pick everything that I could reach from the roof, but I was told to stop and get off the roof. So today I'm going to clean the kitchen and we'll start with this bag. And we'll see if I can process all of these apples before they go bad. Hey, so a couple days ago, I guess it's a couple days ago now, I tried to do a bag of apples. Um, and I got them cut up, I got them cored, I got them on the stove, warming up, and uh, I was going to clean up a bit, and then I was going to, I have a dog running around in here with me, and then I was going to turn it down and let it simmer. Um, my digestive system had different ideas, and before I could clean up or turn anything down, um, it decided that I was going to spend the next 40 minutes on the toilet and I burnt my apples. I was able to save some of one pot, but none from the blue cast iron pot. So I got 11 fruit leathers out of that or fruit roll ups, whatever you have them call it regionally. And that was two days ago. Um, 
my stomach was still really unhappy with me yesterday. So I finished the socks I knit for myself. <laughs> um, today I'm still not 100%, but I am doing a bit better. So I'm going to try to do another bag of apples. We'll see how this goes. Hey, um, day three, I think, of doing apples. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I did a bag of apples. Um, I got three, yeah, three liters of applesauce. I didn't burn it this time and I just damn near dropped my camera. And a full of 12 trays in the dehydrator um, of apple chips. I still have to go get those, but whatever, whenever. Doesn't matter. Um, those three liters of applesauce are going to get turned into fruit leather, fruit roll-ups, whatever you want to call it. I was always, growing up it was apple leather, so it's apple leather. Um, I, it's going to take me forever to do these apples. I literally am slowed down by my ginormous, almost commercial grade dehydrator. Um, just wanna, let me say it. So this is my liquor set, cast iron pot that I tried to do apples in. Like I, I can't, I've tried three times now. And I've got like 90% of this burnt off. And every time I try, I get a little bit more. So I'm gonna have to keep going. But um, that's my pot. I've been working on it since I broke <laughs> those apples. Um, yeah. Okay, so yesterday while I was doing apples, like I had it on low, so it took all day, especially since I cut my, um, my apples into large chunks, not small chunks. But I knit a hat, Let's see if I can get it on with one hand. I knit a hat while I was uh, working on it. So here's my toque, or beanie if you're American. Um, it was actually a test one because my boyfriend wants me to knit him one with alpaca wool from our local alpaca farm. <laughs> and um, so this was to make sure it fit him because he's got a ridiculously large head. And it did. But I finished it in one day. Yay me. And all of this is from yarn scraps. Like this is what was left of this color. And then I still have a bit more of this lighter color but yeah it worked out good and it stretches so it fits me but it stretches so it actually fits him um yeah it was the only hat I found that fit that big and then I was a little concerned it wouldn't but anyways I did that while I was doing apples yesterday um I'm gonna do more apples today the dog's sitting on the couch looking at me like come on woman <laughs> it's our nap time <laughs> and I'm going to do apples instead. Hopefully he gets some sleep on his own. Um, yeah. This is the bin of apples. And I doubt I will get the whole bin done today. Um, really, I just need to do another pot of applesauce to fill the dehydrator with that. And then I don't know what to do because the dehydrator will be full. But anyways, boyfriend bought me this yesterday because... I was cutting them in large chunks for the applesauce and it was taking too long for his liking. And then, I don't know, it's just gonna hopefully be easier. Okay, so that tool is hard to use from sitting down, so I'm gonna have to stand up. Um, it does do nice little slices though, so this is gonna turn into applesauce. It should break down much faster since Yesterday I was cutting the apple like here and then here and then here and then So there'd be like almost half an apple would have to break down um, So for this tool, I'm cutting out skin imperfections first and then Pushing it down <sighs> Yeah, it's my first time ever using one of these usually I use this one, but it takes so much time to like line everything up and spin, 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 spin. Um, like this is good for apple chips. Um, this is good for sliced apples and applesauce. And um, I think I'm going to try to make 
an apple crisp out of these slices. Like not specifically these slices, but you know, that. I have the first batch of apples on the stove. Um, I'm going to wash the rest of what's in there, add it to that, and fill this bowl. So this bowl is four quarts. This one that I'm cutting out of is eight. It doesn't fit in any cupboards, but I like it. Besides getting sprayed in the face by apple juice, the hardest part of this tool wasn't pushing it down. I just needed more leverage for that. Um, it was popping the core out of the middle. That's okay. Uh, it went really fast. I got the bucket of apples. I'm just going to put a lid on that to try to reduce some of the uh, browning. Not that it matters because it's going in applesauce. Um, yeah. These are coming around. Um, low. Yeah, let me turn down a little bit more because I'm going to go... Oh, it's 3 o'clock already. I'm going to go get the apples out of the dehydrator. Apple chips. Okay, I do not use any pre-treatment, anything for browning. Everything I make is one ingredient, apples. Um, I couldn't find a big container to put it in, so I'm going to fill canning jars because that's what I have. I got them. I did find one bigger jar, but it's not that much bigger than these. Which is lucky I found that because these are my last three one liter jars. Um, I put a couple of these silica gel packs in the bottom. They um, keep these crisper. They are something everything, well, everyone who does long term storage should do. Um, especially for dehydrated or freeze-dried foods. Ideally here, I would like to vacuum seal these jars, but that Food Saver mason jar sealer thing is not available in Canada, apparently. I've been looking for three years now, four years. And I can get it on Amazon for like $300, but I'm not doing that. Um, this last jar, I broke them up because apple chips make great dog treats, and I don't add anything like this is literally apple um, he loves dehydrated fruit more than fresh fruit which cracks me up he won't eat bananas but he'll eat banana chips he'll eat apples but he prefers apple chips so this jar is going to go in the dog's treat area for dog treats those four jars will go in the pantry So I was going to continue on and put the, oh god, my brain's not even working. The applesauce that's from yesterday and the like tiny little bit from the day before, two days before, something like that, round one. <laughs> um, I was going to put them on the fruit leather trays Well, this batch of applesauce is boiling down because I need both batches to fill the dehydrator. Now that those trays are empty, but my back, my back said no. So, like I still have washed apples that need to be cut up and possibly made into an apple crisp. I got all this applesauce. Um, but it's going to have to wait or I'm not going to be able to do anything tomorrow. So I'm going to turn my heating pad on. I'll put money that that dog that's laying on the couch right now is going to move his way over here in the next five minutes. And... We'll take a rest for as the hour that the heating pad runs and then see how I feel. Okay, so it's been an hour. Um, my applesauce was very nicely boiling down. Um, I did check on it while I was supposed to be resting. And the bowl of apples is in there now. Um, it's boiling down quite nicely. Um, so while that's boiling, I'm going to... Uh, go over here and put the applesauce on the fruit leather trays 
So we do about a cup of applesauce per, per tray here. And then we spread it out with a spoon, but I can't do this one-handed. First tray done. Uh, you got to do it thicker around the outsides in the middle because the outside will dry faster. And half a jar down. So those three and a bit jars, um, just shy of 12. So we're going to go back over here. I'm going to give this a stir and then I'm going to make my applesauce and keep going. Um, if you've gotten this far and you've done applesauce before, you're probably like, why the hell did you leave the peels on? Like, why didn't you peel them? Um, I will blend them instead of taking the time to peel them. I don't like this chunky consistency anyways, so I throw it in my blender right from the pot because I have a blender that can handle that. And um, then I get a nice smooth texture and they're perfect for uh, doing those fruit leathers. Now that this one is blended, I'm going to distribute it before I blend the rest of what's in the pot. 12 trays of applesauce for the dehydrator. Wow. And two extra jars. Hey, so day four of processing apples. I'm crashing hard, like physically. It's killing me. My back is not okay. I'm doing all these apples. I'm exhausted. I honestly don't know if I'm going to finish because I got today and at least two more days before I can get through all these apples. Worked on this pot for like an hour yesterday and I, I think there's hope for it. So I got to finish this bin of apples. Um, I have to package up and put away the fruit leather or fruit roll up and I'm going to prep all three of my glass pans for uh, what's it called apple crisp and then we'll see what I do with whatever apples are left three glass containers of apples a bowl of apples and a bunch still in the sink I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I don't want to freeze any because I still have a bunch frozen from last year, so I just, I just don't know. Technically a quadruple batch of apple crisp. I'm going to throw the small one in the freezer, the other two, or sorry, small one in the oven, the other two in the freezer for later. Then I can make a double batch of muffins and we will see how much of that giant bucket apples is left. Four cups of apples, chopped, peeled cord. I use the other tool because it does smaller pieces and it's better for apple muffins. So this will be for my double batch muffins. I'm going to put it in the fridge for now. I still have a ginormous thing of apples. Dishwasher's not done yet, so I gotta wait for that until I can make more applesauce. So I'm gonna package. I just kicked the dog, sorry, Echo. So I'm gonna package up these. Apple crisp is out of the oven. It's gonna cool down for a while. Got the fruit leathers packaged up, vacuum sealed with a silica pack. I'm running out of space in my cover here. Um, I still have that whole thing of apples to do. Dishwasher did finish, but my back is screaming at me, so I need to take a break. I did it! The giant bowl is empty. They're getting boiled down into applesauce. And that'll be the end of today. I might just put the whole pot of applesauce in the fridge when it boils down. Hey, so day four ended out with me blending that applesauce, putting it in those one cup jars and putting it in the freezer, washing a few apples, borrowing a pan from the neighbor, making her an apple crisp. And by making it, I mean I prepped it, put baking instructions with it, and gave it back. Um, 
This is day five. <laughs> it feels like it's never going to end. Um, my boyfriend had a good idea. He said to take the apples out of the freezer and use them for the rest of my applesauce and to cut up this bin of apples and put them in the freezer for apple crisps later. Uh, the ones in the freezer are the more tart apples and he doesn't like them for apple crisps, so I'll put these sweeter ones in. Today, I think it's day four, I'm not quite sure, ends with 11 bags of apples chopped in the freezer. Let's go with my rhubarb in Saskatoon's. Today also ends with nine and a half trays in the dehydrator of applesauce. And I say half tray because I've got one with just one apple thing in there, as well as a double batch of apple muffins. Hey, day six processing apples is finished. Ugh. Um finished our apple crisp last night, so I washed the dish and made another apple crisp. So apple crisp and made more applesauce and currently I have 11 more um, apple others in the dehydrator. Uh, so final count is 65 apple leathers or apple roll-ups. Um, nine jars with the one cup size in the freezer, a uh, half cup in the fridge, and then a reused salsa jar, most of the way full, I give to the neighbor. One, two, three. So that'll be a total of five apple crisps for me and one for the neighbor. <laughs> and then four large jars of apple chips for us and most of the reuse also jar for the dog. And it's gonna take me seven days because I can't package these up till tomorrow. It's been a hell of a lot of work and I'm done. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm just happy it's done. Um, I'm not gonna need apples for the rest of the year. Unless I want fresh ones. Anyways. Thanks for watching my app processing adventures.